Luke Skywalker's journey is the simple classic hero thing of I am an adolescent who is about to break from a much smaller view of the world to a much larger one, and I'm going to go through a really painful journey in order to do that. Just as Hercules and other heroes of classic mythology had to undergo certain tasks to prove their worth, so Luke develops as a character through the tasks he undertakes. Good luck. He rescues Princess Leia. He helps attack the Death Star, where he is a key player. Are you all right? I got a little cooked, but I'm OK. He's swept up in the battle on Hoth and is able to deal with that. He rescues his friends from Jabba the Hutt. Let's go, and don't forget the droids. We're on our way. All of these things are part of his proving himself, although his biggest struggle is with his own father. How did my father die? A young Jedi named Darth Vader. He betrayed and murdered your father. The way Darth Vader looms as this dark, faceless figure over him is exactly the way the dead father Hamlet looms in the play Hamlet as a walking ghost. The ghost clad in armor with a sepulchral voice. Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. The struggle between father and son is very present in Greek myth. For example, Zeus came to power by struggling with his father and his father before him struggled with his father. His weapon is a thunderbolt, lightning. So when I saw Darth Vader fighting with Luke Skywalker with these light beams, I thought of the thunderbolt of Zeus. The Luke-Vader relationship, it's actually a biblical theme in the sense that the Bible talks about the sins of the fathers will be passed on to the sons and daughters to the fifth and sixth generation. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. There's always the sense that basically evil is inescapable in all of us, and, and guilt is inescapable in all of us, and we have to acknowledge that. We'll take him together. You're going slowly on the left. I'm taking him now! No, Anakin, no! And Luke's father is scarred. <sighs> and passes the scar on to his son. Is it passing down on the mark of Cain? Finally, all this comes to rest in Luke Skywalker. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Luke has to realize that he's a part of a family and to not carry on the sins of the father. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. In a drama, there will be a serious battle and a serious wounding. Throughout the rest of the drama, the effect of that wound will shape the actions of the hero. Anakin! It is letting us know the dangers of adulthood. The back. real injuries of life add up as we go along. That is the making of character. That is what makes us human and adult and in a way wise.
Hello there. Yoda. You must unlearn what you have learned. Qui-Gon. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. Obi-Wan. Remember, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him. In mythic tradition, these three characters share the role of mentor. The Force will be with you. Always. Part wizard. Part priest. Part surrogate parent. Mentors give philosophical and spiritual guidance to the hero. I don't understand. The time and training, Amy. They often possess almost magical powers that reflect a lifetime of study, discipline, and acquired wisdom. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move along. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, while, you know, the least played with action figure in my collection, was essential to have, because you need somebody who's going to instruct you in the ways of the Force. I can't understand how we got by those troops. The Force can have a strong influence on the weak-minded. Without Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker has no idea about his origins. No, my father didn't fight in the wars. He was a navigator on a spice freighter. That's what your uncle told you. He doesn't know that his father was a Jedi. You fought in the Clone Wars? Yes. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. In moments of absolute disconnect and loss and confusion and fear, these characters arrived that gave purpose and confidence to our main character. The figure of the Mentor continues a mythic tradition that spans from Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings to the stories of the ancient Greeks, like Homer's epic poem, the Odyssey. When Odysseus goes off in his long journeys, he is concerned about the well-being of his son, Telemachus. And so he asks a family friend, an older a friend a named Mentor, to look in on his son. And from this, we get our word, Mentor. In Star Wars, as in many ancient myths, I feel like, be like what? The Mentor does not always appear in what seems a normal shape. I am wondering, why are you here? Or size. I'm looking for someone. Looking? Found someone you have, I would say. <laughs> right. In mythology, the story of Achilles tells us that he was sent to study with Chiron the centaur, who was a half man, half horse being who lived in an isolated spot in Mount Pelion. And Achilles learned everything he knew from Chiron, including not only warfare, but music, speech. He got a complete hero's education from this composite being, far more strange than Yoda. You're a Jedi Knight, aren't you? What makes you think that? I saw your laser sword. Only Jedis carry that kind of weapon. Usually, the mentor performs another important duty early in the hero's journey. I have something here for you. He must present him with a special gift. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. The moment is crucial, and in the stories, it is a sword or a lightsaber, often something useful in the struggles to come. What is it? It's your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. In our experiences, a mentor gives us a gift of an idea, of wisdom, of some discernment. Let go your conscious self and act on instinct. The lightsaber can cut, so can discernment. This is sorting out life. Stretch out with your feelings. Being able to make those distinctions allows the hero to move forward in the story. Luke is reminiscent of King Arthur in a way. King Arthur is given the sword Excalibur as part of his role to be king and to lead. So also Luke receives his father's lightsaber from Obi-Wan 
And it's really at that point that Luke realizes there is something special about him. You know, I did feel something. I could almost see the remote. That's good. You've taken your first step into a larger world. In Star Wars, the lessons the hero must learn are those of the Jedi Master. Use your feelings, you must. They combine morality, spiritual faith, and strict physical discipline. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. 